Hi everyone. Hello, it is 12 o'clock on the dot. It is a Wednesday. I was thinking it was Thursday, but it isn't Wednesday. How's everyone? I'm just gonna wait for more people to join in and then we can get started. But uh, I guess while I still have uh, some of you joining us this morning, hi Mike. Uh, I'm Jelena Okazaki. I'm with East West Nine Sunrise, but I am here at the Family Resiliency Center. If you don't know what this is, this is a center that was created shortly after the August 31st mass shooting. Now, I know Monday was very hard on a lot of people in the community, uh, me especially, and this was why I wanted to get involved and do this partnership to host uh, some of these workshops here. Uh, one of them is, you know, we. Well, here at the Resiliency Center, they host, a, they have yoga workshops, they have a cooking workshops, and I decided to do painting since just something fun to do. But um, if you are someone who's going through a really tough time, if you were affected by the events that happened on August 31st, if you just don't know how to really uh, cope with your emotions right now, then I would say contact the Resiliency Center. They're located right here on University in Odessa, and their number is 432-848-6944. You can also find more details about them on frcpb.org. It's very hard on a lot of people. No one is ever prepared for a mass shooting, but if you just need someone to talk to, they have amazing counselors here. These are some of the nicest people that I've ever met. So these resources are here, and they're here to help you, okay? So um, we're, we'll put, I'll put that in the comments down below, but we're gonna get started on our painting segment. So what are we painting today? Well, I figure, you know, we've been in the 90s for quite a while now, and next week we're getting into the 70s, so I'm so excited. But fall, something that was fall themed, we're gonna do a little pumpkin. Um, just kind of like the top, a little perspective, a little something a little different today. So we're gonna do that. Hey, Roddy, Adriana, hi, how's it going? Okay. So here is my canvas. Don't know why the lighting is all cuckoo for cuckoo, Cocoa Puffs. Let's see if I can get that, okay. Can I get that to stay like that? Hopefully, maybe. Okay, so I have a canvas. I painted it orange and this is acrylic paint so it dries very fast. You can use any kind of paint you want. I just choose acrylic because it's, um, it's really fast as far as the drying process goes. But um, I'll try to answer as many questions as I can here. So uh, right now we are streaming on FRC and News West 9 and also uh, my Facebook page, that's Jelena Okazaki. Okay, so what colors are you gonna need? Of course, pumpkins are what? They're orange. So we're gonna have orange. You're gonna use some black. Uh, a little bit of this will get you some brown and a hint of red and yellow. And uh, okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a little small paintbrush like this. Hey, Debbie, nice to have you here. And let me try to wave at you. I didn't know you could wave at people on Facebook Live, but we can. Okay, so the first thing is I'm using kind of a darker orange and I'm gonna start not necessarily on the center of my canvas, just kind of up right here and I'm gonna add this point. So you might not be able to see it. Hey Mike! And then the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of add this curve and this is gonna be my vanishing point right there. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep doing that. Eventually, this is all gonna blend in. So let's see. So do another one right here. Okay. Uh, also, if you kind of want to go back to some of our old sessions, you can find that on um, some of our old Facebook Live videos uh, on FRC. Also, our on our News West 9 YouTube page, we were doing that during quarantine. We did a lot of painting segments, so uh, you can find those on there as well. Okay, so you see how I'm kind of connecting all of these to this little vanishing point? That's just gonna continue. And I'm kind of spacing these out a little bit. So it kind of looks like you're looking downward. So I think I'm gonna start right here and bring this down. And you kind of wanna create this curve. So I'm just kind of using that as a guide. Um, also, I had, where do you get painting supplies? Great question. Um, I personally go to Michael's, um, but you can go to mostly any craft store. Um, 
and sometimes you can get deals really depending on the week. So uh, I don't really have a preference in what type on what painting brand I use. I just kind of pick whatever acrylic color works. Um, I guess the creamier it is, uh, the more expensive it will be because those are typically the, the good quality paints that you can use. I've never painted oil before, but uh, oil is also an option or temper paint. Temper paint is also good for starters. Um, I just prefer acrylic. Uh, and as far as canvases, you can also get that at Michael's. Um, I did have someone tell me that they found some at the Dollar General. It really depends on which Dollar General you go to because sometimes they don't have it, sometimes they do. So, okay. So now that I have this guide here, I am going to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start kind of adding these strokes right here. I'm gonna start with a bigger brush. The thing is, hey Chandler, um, when, you're, when you're painting with acrylic, you wanna make sure that you wash your brush in between because if you leave it out to dry, it will dry plastic and it's just not good for your brushes. I think I'm gonna use this bigger brush. Um, and also get synthetic brushes. You don't want to get the brushes that have like this weird, uh, they're kind of bristly and some of those bristles can um, get on your canvas and no one likes that. So I'm just kind of flicking. Nothing too crazy. not gonna lie this kind of reminds me of our chief meteorologist Anthony Franz because this weekend he sent me a selfie of himself holding a pumpkin spice latte and he said it's PSL season which I have to disagree with because <laughs> we're still in the 90s so we're still not there yet but eventually we will be because we're getting that cold front I actually saw some states up north they were getting some uh some snow I was kind of jealous about that I mean sometimes I like snow sometimes I don't I know some of those key, uh, ski resorts, they were posting some pictures on Facebook and we ran that in the morning show today. It was really, really cool. I don't know if any of you guys saw it. Did you guys see David Blaine? Remember David Blaine, that crazy ma magician who was always doing those crazy stunts? He was um, floating above the Arizona desert today with uh, balloons, just like a bunch of balloons. He's just holding balloons. I heard that he was inspired by Disney's Up and so he started floating. Oh my gosh, I could not. I feel like if you have this fear of heights, I, no, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't <laughs> hover 18,000 feet above a desert in Arizona by a bunch of balloons. No way, Jose. But man, that guy is not afraid of anything. But I think he had a safe landing. I don't know if any of y'all saw that too. I think he was, he was fine, but man. That is just terrifying. Okay, can you see how I'm kind of flicking that? I'm not getting too crazy. This is because I'm gonna put the stem here. So that's why. Also, I just wanna give a little thank you to some of the people in our community. Um, who came and made some donations here to FRC. Uh, we had an artist come by to drop off some of uh, her artwork, which was really cool. We also had some uh, book donations too, and that's great. They're always looking for supplies as well, and if you'd like to help out FRC, uh, you can log on to their website. They have a wish list if you wanna help. Um, once again, that's frcpb.org, so, okay. Now I'm gonna use that same orange, that darker orange, and I'm going to brush up a little bit like this. Not too much. When I'm using my brush, I don't even use like a lot of paint. If you want, you can start with a dry canvas. It's really up to you. For me, I just started dry, but the good thing about starting with a wet canvas is that you're e it's easier to blend. So I'm just kind of adding these strokes like that. So 
So for this, you're kind of using um, a bunch of colors. You know what? I think I'm just going to add another line right here and then flick. Okay, then do the same thing. Add some more of the darker orange. It kind of looks like a dark brownish, but I think the camera is kind of washing it out. So. here not too much but just brush enough on then I'm, I'm gonna go back in some of the orange the orange that I used to paint the canvas and go over some of this to kind of blend some of that out so even if you paint on a dry canvas you can Kind of do this technique and this will help blend some of that so there is a difference in the type of acrylic paints that you buy this is very liquidy as opposed to some of the creamier ones and I, and that's what I typically like to do um, instead of some of the creamier ones just because I run out of that faster and this one tends to last me for um, a longer period of time so see some of these streaks here I don't really like that, so I'm gonna go and kind of blend that right there with some of that orange. You do have to work a little fast though, because like I said, this acrylic paint will dry fast. But that's why Bob Ross takes a while whenever he's doing his segments, because he's using oil, so it's paint that's just always wet all the time. Also, I love seeing y'all's artwork, so if you ever do one of these paintings, or even if you're just a painter, and you have other pieces of art, feel free to send it my way because I really like to look at them. Okay, now I'm going to add some more of this, adding a little bit of the darker orange right here. Shalina, why is it so messy? Well, that's okay. Let's kind of brush it on like that. I feel like it's that it's kind of getting to that season where everyone does their fall decor at home. Getting out the those uh, fall scented candles. That's always one of my favorite parts about the fall season. Okay, and then up here, just a little bit, some of that darker orange. So now, what else am I going to do? I'm going to get some of this darker brown right here. To make some of this brown, if you don't have brown, I would say just use black and then have a little bit of a, some orange paint and that'll get you a nice color. Okay, now just very carefully, I'm using the tip of this brush and I'm just going to add these lines and kind of going over some of that dark orange just a little bit. You don't want to use too much paint. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes people make is you put too much pressure when you have a lot of paint and then it just turns into this mess. Okay, 
rotate the canvas if you need to. I'm just doing it by the tip. I'm just being very careful with this. very carefully. Okay. And practice makes perfect. Even if you're not a painter, I would say just try it. I swear, I think it was like in high school. I met a, I had a lot of friends that were not artists and now they can, they're like, the next Da Vinci, they're just amazing. Practice makes perfect, that's what I always say. That's the one thing that quarantine taught me is I just had to get back into it. Not Bob Ross, but it is fun. Everyone kind of has their own style. Okay. So I'm just slowly rotating it. And I'm not exactly following the line. There's Edward. We're, we're looking for you, man. Okay. All right, almost done. Not with the painting, just this part. Okay, now the next thing, I'm gonna use some red. So I'm not even gonna wash this off yet, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm going to just lightly dip in some of the red here. So on here, you can see there's like hints of red right there, and that's what we're gonna do. Not too much. Just adding some of that highlight. So don't be afraid to kind of add some of these colors that you typically want. Yeah, like pumpkins aren't red, right? But it's okay to kind of go in and add some of uh, those tones around it you don't necessarily want it to be completely orange. So I'm just kind of focusing on the inner part right here on this wheel. Oh, also, I had a question, how long am I going to be doing this for with FRC? Um, until the end of September, but um, FRC is still going to be here. So like I said, if you are someone who's still um, going through um, some of those emotions that you have been feeling from August 31st, then, you know, they're still here. Um, and even if you need someone to talk to, they can direct you in the right direction as well. Kind of making this dark red, which is fine. Kind of brush that on right there. And I wouldn't even make uh, some of these colors even. So it's kind of like this part kind of stretches out here. 
and I don't really want it to be the same uh, length as I'm going around. Okay. I don't know if anyone saw Sammy's story yesterday on Centennial Park opening in Midland soon in October. So that's going to be fun for the fall. It's really cool. If you haven't seen that yet, I would definitely go to the website and see if you can uh, find that story because, man, I mean, Midlanders have been waiting a long time for Centennial Park. Like they have a stage. I know they have two dog parks. Um, screens and stuff like that so oh and a splash pad that's also going to be there too it's much needed in the tall city i would say okay i'm going to stretch this a little more because i don't really want it to be completely orange i'm going to add some of these red tones right here I know it looks kind of weird because I'm like awkwardly holding this, but sometimes you just need to flip your canvas to get that angle. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into some of the orange again. And feel free to mix some of these colors as well. Got too much red, but it's fine. I'm gonna brush on some of that red there. And like I say, in every single one of my sessions, you always wanna get the sides of the canvas as well. See, it's pre-painted, I didn't forget this time. Okay, going back to some of the orange, I'm kind of blending some of this out. I need more paint. And I'm just going to add some of these red highlights and some of the edges right here. I'm not trying to make this perfect, but you kind of want to go darker where some of these lines are. Okay, now I'm gonna wash this off. Oh, hi, Matt, Matt's here. And Gary's here, hey, Gary. Gary owns a nonprofit, a local nonprofit called Heart for uh, veterans with uh, PTSD. So one of my friends in the community Okay, so let's say I am content with that. Now we're gonna add some yellow highlights. So now I'm using some of the yellow paint and I'm gonna go here. 
into some of these open spaces where this orange is. And then that kind of slowly blends in. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but there you go. The focus really is on some of these open spaces where the orange is. You don't want to make it completely yellow, yellow you just want to blend that in. Not still wet. But. Sometimes on acrylic, really depending on the layer, it takes about maybe 10 minutes to maybe 30 minutes to, to an hour to completely dry. So that's the one thing I like about it. And if you just are like tired of waiting, you can use a blow dryer. So sometimes I do that. Okay, I'm gonna add, let's see. I'm gonna add some more here. Then here, all this open space right here, I'm gonna touch that up. So see how I'm just kind of lightly adding some of this yellow there? I think the camera is washing it out, but yeah, camera is definitely washing it out, but that's fine. Okay, more open space here, so I'm going to brush on some of that yellow. So you just have a mix of uh, all these tones here. So let's say I'm content with that. The next thing you're gonna do is use another paintbrush. I'm just gonna go back, actually, I'm gonna use this one, just a smaller one. And then I'm gonna go into some of the white. And starting in the middle here, this is gonna be where my stem is. So let's say I, Kind of add it from here. I'll just brush on what I want it to look like. So I'm kind of letting it curve like that. I know you can't you can't really see it, but here you go. Okay. And you want the base to be a little thicker. So it kind of looks like a hook a little bit. I'm gonna make that thicker here. And then I'm gonna outline that in black once I finish this part. And some of this white paint is drying a little bit. Okay, brushing this down. Okay, now I'm gonna go into some of the dark brown. I'm gonna wash off my brush first because you don't want the paint to dry on it. Like even on your palette, when you have your paint on your palette, sometimes it will dry really fast. So I'm gonna go in some, you can't even see it, some of this dark brown right here. And then I'm gonna outline using just the tip of the brush. So it kind of looks like a hook a little bit. Okay, I'm 
try not to cover it up. So I'm just slowly going around the stem. And then on the top part, I'm just gonna add this little knob. Kind of drag some of this brown out right here. really small lines. Okay, now I'm going to some more dark brown right there. I'm going to add a line that kind of goes down like this. So it looks like it's twisted a little bit, the stem. Brush some of that out. And if you want, you can actually just make the whole stem um, brown if you want, but this is just kind of the style that I'm going for. And then what I did in the sample one right here, I kind of added some of that brown to, a white, to the white, just a hint of it a little bit, and go in the corners. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna add more some add some more brown to this side. Then I'm gonna go in some of the orange and I'm gonna blend a little bit, just a little bit. Here, I think I want to go a little darker. Such a quiet day today because we don't have the dog. Hey, Rachel! I don't know if y'all saw Rachel Ripp's uh, piece that she did on the Resiliency Center, and that's on our um, News West Sign page, and you can find that on there. So a really great resource, especially if a lot of you are going through a really hard time uh, this week. I know anniversaries are very hard and you don't want to think about some of those things that trigger a lot of those emotions. One of the things that the Resiliency Center, um, well, they told me that they do get people who, you know, they call and they inquire because sometimes they just don't really know how to express their emotions. And that's why a great counselor is here to talk to. So, I mean, it was really hard on a lot of people, so. I keep looking back and forth because I want to make sure I'm not missing any questions, but okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Any more questions? No. Okay, and that is it. You got your little pumpkin, perfect for the fall decor season. Maybe something to put on a, your dining area or something if that's what you're into. But um, anyway, guys, that is it for today. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Um, the Resiliency Center, they also look at some of these comments so they can answer anything that you have. Um, once again, I wanna provide these resources because, hey, Mickey! Now you're talking, I didn't even know you were here. Okay, um, so if you wanna call the Resiliency Center, I just wanna remind you that if you are, if you were here on August 31st of last year and you were affected uh, by the mass shooting emotionally, this, these are free services. So just call 432-848-6944. Um, and starting next week, they're gonna be doing their, um, it's gonna be in person as well. But if you're still not comfortable with that, uh, just give them a call and, uh, they can uh, get you all sorted out. Um, you can also join their Facebook page. They're always keeping that up to date. I wanna say this once again, frcpb.org for any details on the center. So really great people here. They are here to listen to you and they are here to help you with um, any trauma that you have. It's not easy, y'all. It's not easy to go through an entire year and you think that you're okay. You think that, you know, I'll be fine. I know it wasn't easy for me either. It's hard to think back on you know, so these memories, no one wants to think about it. So they are a great resource and they're here to help. Remember, it is completely free. So once again, the number 848-6944. Okay, guys, I'll see you next week, Wednesday at 12 o'clock right here on the News West 9 Facebook page, on the FRC Facebook page, um, also Jelena Okazaki's Facebook page. All right, bye y'all. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe and take care.